Hello, FST. So here we go. We're moving right along. We're talking about graphing with translations, part one of three. Um, today we're going to focus in on, you can pause it right now and get down everything you need to. We're going to focus in on quadratics and cubics. So let's just remember that quadratics are your y equals x squared. And then you have your cubics that look like this. That's your y equals x to the third. Okay, so the thing that we're talking about today is that these are just the parent functions, of course. But we could throw in numbers inside of a parentheses on either of these. And also after the exponent, a number tacked on the end that will start to adjust how the graph looks, okay? And so what you need to understand is if there's a number either plus or minus inside of a parentheses with the x on either one of these type of graphs, that's a horizontal shift. And the thing that you always need to remember is that you go the opposite of the way that it says, okay? It's kind of, um, kind of different. And then if there's a number after the exponent, if there's a number that's like tacked on the end, okay, outside of the parentheses, that's a vertical shift, okay? And so a horizontal shift of with the vertex, okay? A horizontal shift with that turning point that's happening in the middle, and then also a vertical shift up or down with the vertex, a vertical shift going up or down with that point in the middle of a cubic, kind of where it makes the little turn. Okay, so here we go, let's start taking a look. So first one, I got a bunch of examples here. First one, y equals x plus two, the quantity squared. Okay, so what this means to us is we have a horizontal shift going on, okay? And then there's nothing tacked on the end, so that means that there's no vertical shift at all. This is x plus 2, the quantity squared, which means it's a parabola. It's a U-shape, okay? And we're going to slide it two units to the opposite of the way it says. So if it says plus 2 in here, we're going to slide it over to minus 2. Now that's where the vertex is, okay? And then there's no um, vertical shift, okay? And so just a quick sketch, it looks just like this. Okay, let's look at the next one. We have x minus 4 in parentheses, and then it's cubed, okay? So again, there's nothing on the end here, so we don't have any sort of vertical shift, but we're going to go the opposite of the, of the way it says. So we're going to shift over to positive 4, okay? And I'm just going to put a point right there, okay? And it's as if we've taken this and we've shifted it 4 units over, because we always go the opposite of the way it says. So now I'll just do a quick sketch because that's all we're doing, just little quick sketches, and it maybe looks something like this, okay, just a little horizontal slide. Okay, let's look at the next one. Now, notice how this minus 4 right here is not inside the parentheses with the x, okay? It's tacked on the end. So when it's tacked on the end, that's a vertical shift, okay, so up or down, and it's the way that it says, okay? And so we're back to an x squared again, which means we're back to a parabola, okay? And then we're going to shift it. We go the way that it says on a vertical shift. So we're going to shift down to negative 4. And then again, it's an x squared, which means it's a parabola. So just quick sketch looks something like this. Okay, next one. x to the third plus 5. Again, there is no parentheses here. Okay, and so this is this plus 5 on the end is a vertical shift. We're going to shift the whole thing up to 5. Okay, no horizontal shift. And then we're just going to sketch in the cubic. Okay, just 5 shifted up. Okay, so next two, what if we have shifts on both? Okay, so we have a horizontal shift opposite the way it says, and then a vertical shift the way it says. Okay, so horizontal shift to positive 1, because opposite the way it says, and then vertical shift up to four. Okay, so there's a point there. It's a um, parabola, so that's got to be the vertex. And then if we just sketch it in, there it is. All right, next one, it's a cubic, which means it's one of these guys. Okay, opposite the way it says on the horizontal, vertical the way it says. So we're going to shift over negative two and down negative three. Okay, so at neg the point negative 2, negative 3, that's where that turning point is going to happen, okay? And then it's going to look something like this, okay? So here we go. Let's move on to our we problem over here, okay? So we want to graph this one. It's a cubic, which means, again, it's one of these guys, right? 
that kind of comes up, makes a turn, and then just keeps going up. Okay, opposite the way it says, the way it says. So we're going to go negative 1, positive 3. Okay, there it is, the turning point, and then it goes up, makes a little turn, and then it keeps going. I also asked you to practice stating the domain and range, so let's just go ahead and do that. Okay, this goes slowly out and slowly down this way, so I think the domain is going to be all reals. Okay, and I think the range on this, it goes down forever, it goes up forever. I think the range is going to be the same. In fact, it is that, this, and this for all cubics. Okay? All right, so let's look at our you all problem. Alrighty, here it is. Okay, please practice stating the domain and range. And I think yours should look like this. So let's get to practice.